So if you would have told me a few years ago that I can dramatically increase my overall image quality just by composition, I probably would have never believed you. But I can honestly tell you that it's true and therefore I'm gonna show you in this video my top 5 tips to improve your overall composition. Coming up! Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews but also DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe. So obviously composition or how you compose your shots is really important and therefore I'm gonna present you now my top 5 tips for perfect composition. So tip number one is what's in the frame, what's not in the frame. So whenever you're framing a shot, just ask yourself two very important questions. First, what's in the frame that might distract the audience from the overall uh, main subject? So for example, if we look at this shot, you can see that I obviously have a lot of mess in the background. So you see like there's boxes and everything like that. And that doesn't make sense at all and it also looks like unprofessional. So um, I'm gonna remove that. But then we have an image that's very empty, very boring. There's nothing going on there. So now you can ask yourself the second question. What's not in the frame and what we can add to overall level up the image quality? So, uh, and here you need to ask yourself, okay, the main subject here is filmmaking because I'm a filmmaker and it makes sense to place some stuff in the background that um, yeah underlines that. So for example, it's basically okay that I have a gimbal there, a lens and something like that. So it overall um, even emphasizes the overall tone of the image or of the of the title or of the story if you will and on the other side i have just a little sofa to yeah make it even more cozy and inviting so therefore never hit record when you're ready just take a few moments to look at your image and ask yourself these two questions and it will help a lot so my second tip is fill the frame what i mean by that so when framing your shot you need to ask yourself what's the main subject what's the main character in your scene. For example, here in this talking head sequence, I'm the most important thing, right? So um, I want to fill out the frame. So pay attention that there's not too much head room above your head or something else that your subject mind looks lost in the, uh, in the scene. Obviously, there are some uh, executions to that for example um, if you're shooting an establishing shot a wide shot when you want to show your character in the environment then it's totally fine but if you're shooting a talking head sequence uh, interview something like that and you have uh, your client your subject your model sitting there then you want to make sure that you fill the frame with uh, the most important thing in the scene and that's the subject so now let's come to my third tip and that's create depth. Depth in cinematography or in filmmaking is very important because to create depth we can um, separate our subject from the background and yeah, draw the audience attention to our subject. So we're gonna do that at first by placing away or pulling away our subject from the background so allow there to be distance between the background and your subject so that your background can fall out of focus and your main subject is in focus you should never ever place uh, your subject in front of a wall so even if you're then shooting on a 100 mil f at f 1.4 um, you don't won't get any blurry background or any um yeah separation there because there's no distance in between so in order to get separation and create depth you need to pull away your subject from the background also here in this scene i'm sitting a few meters away from the wall to create the maximum depth that i can do and my upcoming tip helps to create even more depth so what you need to do is 
to create three dimensional images. What do I mean by that? So for example, you have a foreground, you have a subject and you have your background. So your foreground should be out of focus as well as your background should be out of focus and your subject should be in focus. That way you have three layers in your shot, the foreground, the subject and the background. So, and this already makes your image so much more dimensional. You create so much more depth. For example, let's look at this sign here. It looks kind of nice because there's a little bit, the trees are a little bit yeah, blurry, but you can even increase the overall image quality of this shot uh, if we just add something in front of the lens, so like foreground element, that really helps to make our image three-dimensional. And whenever you have the option to do that, I would highly recommend you to do it. So my fifth and final tip is leading lines, and that probably took me a lot time to learn that. But basically, when you're composing your shot, look something into your scene, even its architecture or its nature or whatsoever, that there are something that creates lines. And these lines should yeah, draw um, the audience attention even more to your subject. So for example, I show you here some example clips so you can either use um, what's in the nature or whatever um, is in architecture that you can use to create leading lines that help to draw the audience attention to your main subject. So whenever you have the option to place your subject accordingly, I would highly recommend to do that. So and since you are still here, I want to give you a bonus tip and there's the so-called rule of thirds which basically means that you can divide your image into three equal quarters um, horizontally and vertically and for example now I'm doing like center framing so I can perfectly see that I'm in the in the center uh, third of the frame so I'm perfectly have a center framing but also if you want to do like um, putting your subject on the side which is pretty common for like an interview sequence you can definitely do that and then you have even more space on the other side uh, to show the scene and even to blend in some title animations and something like that so and when you have in between um, these lines then you have center framing or if you have your subject uh, perfectly placed on one of the thirds you have like these third framing for like interview sequences and something like that or you can even use that for perfectly composing your shot when you're shooting and landscape or something like that so i hope these tips were really helpful and if you have any further questions just drop them down in the comments below and i want to see you in my very next video so don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and whatsoever see you in my very next video cheers guys